like a play down to be honest. I'm gonna try it. We're going short. I don't feel like I'm forcing it because I feel like the market's trending down so strong. I feel like we are okay coming in off of a break around this Q level here. We only can trade one contract at a time for my risk. I like this Q level. We broke below it, back below it. Got in pretty late, but I still think it's probably alright. Moving down 10 points. Thirteen points. Breaking low of day on the futures. Ninety-three. Somehow we just gave up ten points. We had 17 points of the money, but it happened really quick. Let's see if we can break a little lower. We don't have any data releases coming out. Should be okay to just kind of hold on to this. See if it wants to go down pretty far for us. 12 points in the money again. I'll take it. 13 point win. Let's uh, Bill is, is really bad with micros compared to minis. Uh, looks like it kind of wants to break it. I could try this. I'm gonna hop in and along. Looks like it's moving up. It's moving up in favor. Four points in the money. Let's see if it can hold it. Sticking to one contract. I don't want to risk too much. Right now my drawdown's only about 550, so can't really risk more than 4% per trade. That's the rules that I set for myself. We're in at a 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio. Definitely moving against us though. Maybe need a little more confirmation uh, before jumping in. Weird, it was choppy. Uh, I kind of want to try to play a bounce if I can. And if it doesn't work, I'll play a break. How about that? Try to catch a really good bounce. If it doesn't work and we move lower, I will play a bounce. So I'm going to buy a limit. I'm actually going to buy MIT. There we go. We're in. We're in on a bounce. We're doing a bounce play. Let's see if this works for us. We got a really good entry right at the bottom. Buy MIT is market if touched, meaning it will execute a market order if the limit that is set is touched so it doesn't do a limit order it does a market order which is more of a guaranteed uh, type of order setup i don't know if it's going to work for us but the entry was amazing sometimes those work really well i need to use them more often to be honest feel like that's a little better than sitting here trying to be trying to gauge like within your own head okay when am I getting in there's less hesitation whenever you can just place it like that looks like it's working out I kind of like where the uh, the profit already is 
I might just leave it there. What is it, 1018? Yeah, we're good. We'll let this play out. Who knows? Maybe this is the bottom to a 200 point trade. You never know. No one knows. We were up pretty decent. Oh my gosh, we got a huge stop out. Okay. Um, I kind of want to play that actually. I'm going to play a short break from the key level. So we were playing bounces. That didn't work out for us, but we did have a nice break. So now we are in on a break to the downside. Wow, is that really going to come against us too? Uh, price action is getting pretty volatile. Like, really volatile. Hopefully, it can keep coming down, but I don't know. It's moving against us. Man, I was pretty sure we were we were in. Oh man, we we're stopped out again on a breakdown. Wow. Still looks like a good breakdown though. I'm gonna play it again. We're playing a breakdown. Yep, it's moving. It's moving in favor. That's good. I don't know if it's gonna hold that, but we'll see. We need to get a win here. Otherwise we may be approaching our max day loss. That's not a good day. Market needs to move lower. It's already moved so low. It's hard to believe it's going to move more, but I don't know. It could. Pretty big moves down. Hopefully it can keep on moving that way. We shall see. Can the market go lower? Can we go lower? Looks like it's coming right back up against us. That's ah, not the best. Not the best. But definitely pretty wicky here. I don't I don't know. Doesn't know what it wants to do. Coming down again after ripping up. I don't know. We're trying to shoot for 20 points here. See if we can get a 20 point win. It's not looking too good though. It's taking too long. Okay. We approached a low of day, didn't break it, 
It's tapped the same level one, two, three, four times, five times. So I'm willing to bet that this is probably going to be a stop out. I'm going to hop out early. Hopped out early just to prevent getting stopped. Hopefully that was the right move. You know what? I'm just going to hop in on a long. I've got a hunch that uh, we're okay. I don't know why, but I'm going to do it. It's a weird hunch. It's a weird intuitive feeling that I have that this is going to be an okay entry. I don't, I don't really know why, but we're breaking up above this key level. And... Uh, For some reason, I just feel it. I'm not entirely sure why. But I'm going to let this play out. I have to go to the restroom. If I get stopped out, that sucks. But is what it is. I will be right back. Hopefully, I come back to like a 100-point trade. Let's get it.
Holy crap, we are moving up. Look at that. Did not think. Hey, what's up, Ravi? Ravi Wagmer, what's up, man? Well, I did not think I'd come back to a complete bottoming out of the trade. That's pretty amazing. I actually had way more on the table on this, but I stepped away. Um, yeah, that's a bummer. We had like 22 points. We might have actually just caught the bottom here. We may have just caught the literal bottom of, of the day. Holy crap. That's, uh, that's amazing. Moving way up. I'm going to let this play out. We'll see what we can do, man. We might have caught the reversal on the day. What's up, Ravi? How you been? How's your trading going this morning? take a poop and uh, come back to this. That's great. From the very beginning, I just said I had a hunch about the price reversing. And it just never turned back around, I guess. It just kept on going. We're going to try to ride this out. 17 points in the money. See if we can't come up further here. Maybe to, I don't know, around this level. Wow, really moving with a lot of strength right now. Really moving. That is what we like to see right now. Seven oh three was the high that we hit. Oh no, we almost hit like twenty five points. I think I'm gonna stick in this and see if maybe we can catch a really nice win. 50 points is give or take about the highest I've gone whenever I've let one of these run, but I want to really see uh, what we can get out of this. 26 points in the money, that's solid, dude. I'd really hate to see this reverse and smack my stop after being up so much, but... You know, sometimes that can happen. Hopefully, it uh, doesn't happen. But we will see. We'll see how this plays out. 29 points in the money. Definitely moving up in our favor. Playing out pretty well. Maybe catching the reversal on the day. We really may be catching it. Twenty six points in the money. Twenty eight. And moving further past twenty nine. This is one contract, guys, so that's that's pretty good. Significant points here. Hopefully it can break this next key level. Uh, around seven fifteen. I'm pretty content with taking thirty points though. Uh it's hard not to take it. Ah, oh, there's so much strength coming in though. 34 points in the money. 34 points. Is it just going to reject back down from here? It could. It really could do that. Back into this range. We're missing out on 10 points of profit there by not taking it around 35 points. I think the 
the great Tom Hogard would say to sit through the uncomfortable feeling and let the trade run. Cutting it short is just because I'm uncomfortable. The great Tom Hogard. See if we can break this. If we can break this key level, 14.715, we are going to be flying. That is a pretty good key level. It's sitting right at it. I'm going to sell. I'm out. I don't know. I may regret it, but we're hitting the top of that range. We had 30 points on the table. Comfortably break this. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm in. Breaking that key level, let's see if this wants to play a little further. I knew this key level would be huge, dude. I knew it would be. And we probably should have just stayed in the damn trade, but we didn't. We didn't stay in the trade. Tom Hogard would be disappointed. Had I sat through all of that uncomfortable feeling, it would have paid off huge because we got out at uh, 14.7, or no, we got out at 14.7.12, coming all the way up to 14.7.26, missing out on a ton of points, 14, 15 points. So, I'm trying to play a break up on this key level now. Certainly feels like we've caught the reversal on the day. At least to some regard. We are now in an uptrend, so. Trying to play this break, this other break of this key level. See if it can't play out for us. I really would like to get like another 30 point trade. That would be amazing. Feels strong to me. 20 point trade here. I think we need to go for something bigger. We need to get a 50 bagger. It's moving in favor. This next key level that it's approaching is, uh, I mean, it, it wasn't respected that much. I feel like if it's going to move up, it's going to really move up here. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm going to move my profit up further. I just, I want to let these play out. I feel like we've caught in a good reversal. I feel like we're in on a new uptrend here. And I feel like there's a lot to give on this trade. So we're going to keep letting this play out. It's looking pretty decent though. I mean, we're hitting 17 points there at the peak. Rejecting straight off of that key level that was marked at the beginning of the day. Like, we're talking directly off of it. To the T off of that key level. So, bouncing off of that resistance line. Pretty cool to see that work out and play. When the price gets to these levels, um, it respects those levels. It really, it really does. Yeah, that is a huge rejection off of that level. Just flat rejection. That came down so much. 38 points. Came down over 10 points off of there. I don't think it holds though. I think it's going to reject that level, but there's a lot of momentum right now. And it's probably going to keep moving up. I'm willing to bet it It uh, doesn't really phase the price action here. Dang. 
definitely didn't like that area though. It, it came down pretty strongly. point trade on the money right there hopefully it pays off holding through that and not taking that profit yeah boy come on let's go It's crazy that it, I, I wouldn't have thought that that resistance level would have really uh, backed up the price like that. It, uh, it certainly played off of that though. Coming down almost 20 points now off of that key level up there. I let it be known that that key level was drawn um, when we started streaming pretty much, which was around 9.30, 9.40. So yeah, well over an hour ago. And it's crazy to see the price actually respect those key levels so well. It really is. I truly believe that just finding key levels can be a very good system if you can play them right. It's even bouncing back off of the support level that was drawn here. So bouncing back off and coming back to the upside is what it looks like it's doing. Holding through that uh, 17 points, it wasn't the uh, wasn't the play because we just got stopped out. All right, let's see what this does here. You know what? Okay. Okay, so it does buy it. Okay. Yeah, so it, it just simply puts in a buy. Okay. Oh, that's not going to work for us. That was a huge rejection. Straight down. Maybe that comes back. I don't know. But that was... That wasn't good. Uh, yeah, we're stopped out on that. That was disgusting. I'm gonna do it again. Let's try. Let's see if we can get it this time. It's moving up. It's moving in our favor. I'm going to try to get it to that next key level, and if it busts through the key level really quick, I'll keep riding, but if it gets to that key level and I see any hesitation, I'm just going to hop out and get my profit. I don't want to stay in the area where there's going to be a lot of friction in the price action. If it does keep moving forward, then we'll probably add, it, add another, but 
I don't want to give away my profit if I don't have to. I feel like we've been doing that a lot. I'll be in profit a pretty good amount and I'll give it back. This song's a little weird, I'm sorry. Gagan Deep, how's it going, man? How's uh, how's your trading been? How was it? Seven points in the money, eight points, nine points. We're moving now. I do not want to give back my profit if I don't have to. So if I get to that key level, I am looking to get out. If uh, you can hear the vacuum in the background, I apologize. Seven points in the money. Man, I wish we were we were in on this entry on the last one so I didn't have to take a, a damn loss in order to actually get into the winning side of the trade. Man, it's still going to move against us, isn't it? What do, what do we get to? 29? What were we in at? 18? Shit, man. We were in at a 1 to 1. We, we made 11 points on it. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we'll be okay. Our entry isn't too bad. Do we have anything coming up? 11, 15. We have something at 12. That's it. out for us damn it man we are stopped again approaching max day loss we only got like one more in the bag this morning yeah I don't know maybe this is a trend down like downtrend uptrend downtrend Breaking back down below the key level. I don't know. I'm going to do it. We're playing a break back down below the key level, I guess. Doesn't really look... I don't know. It could be choppy, but it feels like the price action is more so trendy. So we're trying to catch a little bit of a trend down. Let's see what it does. I'm going to mute the mic here and there, though, just because uh, there's a vacuum in the background.
Mm, price action is uh, not too favorable. It's kind of all over the place right here, but at least it's tagging a little bit in the green here and there. Moving in the money. Hopefully we can get down to this bottom range. We'll see. This bottom key level, we need to get to that green line. Ooh, that's a stop out. Yeah, price uh, came way up against us there. So that is unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of... Uh, wow, that vacuum is really annoying. I do apologize. That's going to be the end of the uh, stream. We hit max day loss. And that's really it for me, man. I, I've been fighting trying to get back to the green pretty much all morning, just like yesterday. And I'm not going to push uh, further past that. So is what it is. Did take a, uh, another loss in the day. We're kind of on tilt a little bit, but I'm pretty confident we'll come back from this. So uh, until next time, I appreciate everyone who did tune in. I appreciate all the love, and I will be streaming again tomorrow morning. Or not tomorrow, sorry. Tomorrow's Saturday. It's the weekend. I'll be back on Monday morning uh, around 7, or sorry, 9.30 a.m. CST, 9.30 a.m. CST. But again, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We have hit max day loss, so that is going to be the end of the stream. I do appreciate it. Gone deep. If you're still in here, man, I appreciate it. You have a good one.